everyone, Reverend Stephanie Wild here, psychic medium and spiritualist minister with another miracle moment. And today, well, at first, before I do that, I just need everyone to forgive me for my wet hair. Um, I do appear with wet hair sometimes. Uh, when I first came to the States, um, people would... Um, be quite outraged that I would uh, walk around with wet hair. They found it offensive or, or, or you know, not I, because I wasn't well groomed or something. Um, and now I had no idea um, because growing up in Australia, we had um, wet hair all the time. <laughs> Hi, MJ. Hi, everyone. Um, Kathy, Jennifer. Um, so, oh, thank you. You're loving them. Thank you. Um, so um, it wasn't until I was here for quite some time that I realized I was doing this faux pas by walking around with wet hair. But Australia, we're in and out of um, in and out of the um, the water all the time, you know, and we don't we're not going to blow dry our hair every single time. Anyway, so today, so if you find that you can't forgive me for that, go to my website and download a free copy of my book, The Art of Forgiveness. <laughs> So today's, oh, Jennifer, thanks. I'm glad they're helpful because I was thinking, oh, God, do they want to hear me read this book, <laughs> you know? But, um, and it helps me as well. It's great. It gets me through it again. Um, so, A Course in Miracles. Today's page is page 252 and it's paragraph seven. All right, miracle moment, random-ish. All right, here, this is how it reads. The present offers you your brothers in the light that would unite you with them and free you from the past. Would you then hold the past against them? For if you do, you are choosing to remain in the darkness that is not there and refusing to accept the light that is offered you. For the light of perfect vision is freely given as it is freely received and can be accepted only without limit. In this one still dimension of time that does not change and where there is no sight of what you were, you look at Christ and call his witnesses to shine on you because you called them forth and they will not deny the truth in you because you looked for it in them and found it there. Hallelujah. Makes me want to go across to the to the Baptist church. Pastor Mike. Oh God, the energy, the charisma. Um, so anyway, this paragraph, all this means is that when we stay in the present moment and we do not bring the judgments, memories of the past to this moment, we see each other as we should be, perfect spiritual beings. That's it. So let me, as I, as I say, unpack this. I used to hate that phrase, but actually it really applies. Um, and uh, so uh, let's see how this, um, how this strikes everyone. All right, the present, meaning the present moment, offers you your brothers in the light that will unite you with them and free you from the past. And that's it. Um, so brothers obviously is human humans. Um, it is brothers, sisters, humans. So if we stay in the present moment, uh, we're going to see other humans in the light that would unite you with them. We're going to be together in the present moment, in the perfect moment. Um, and that, staying in the present moment, frees us from the past. So we're not bringing memories. And this, actually, of course, no coincidences. Last night, I got on a call with a friend of mine who I have not had any contact with for about 18 years. She disappeared from my life. She sent me a letter. This is in the days when we had to write letters. We didn't actually have internet at our fingertips um, or even really at home. We, we, we literally wrote letters to each other. Uh, we're both from Australia. She was living on Long Island. I'd finally arrived in New York and I was so excited to, um, 
to see her again. Uh, we hadn't been apart for that long and we'd been so, 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 so close, traveling the world together, backpacking. And um, sh she asked to borrow money and didn't pay me back, um, all of it, and then sent me letters saying, um, I have to cut you out of my life, you're taking my energy. I was hurt, I was heartbroken. And I have been for 18 years. Um, anyway, she popped back up and she asked, could we, could we get on a phone call? Now, I know my lessons from Course in Miracles and I put it into play, I tell you. And this is pretty much it. I, stay, I decided to stay in the present moment and, and talk with her just from the present moment as she is and as I am free from the past. I put it into practical effect. I got on the phone and I just listened and stayed in the present. And of course, later in the conversation, we did talk about the past. We are on earth and time is linear here so that we can learn from it. But um, in that instant where I was not bringing the past with me, we rekindled our friendship. I have my friend back uh, and it wasn't, it wasn't that hard. We just got to practice it. Okay. That was a long-winded explanation, but that's, that's how it works. All right. The next sentence here says, would you hold the past against them? So, of course, the answer is no. Let's not do that to each other. For if you do, you're choosing to remain in darkness that is not there. So the darkness, obviously, is ignorance. Um, and if we go too far down that way, letting our egos control us, we'll end up in hell, which is a state of consciousness. We'll end up in the darkness, as we call it. Um, if we hold the past against our friends, uh, we're choosing to remain in the darkness that is not there and refusing to accept the light that is offered you. So note that it says in the darkness that is not there. See, that doesn't really exist. We create that with our ego. So if I'd brought the past, my past resentments, to this conversation with my friend, I would have just been bringing my thoughts. There's no reality there. It's just my thoughts, um, my memories, my resentments. Uh, it doesn't exist in this moment. Uh, so that's an important note. Um, if we, ch we can choose to remain in the darkness that is not there, and that is we're imprisoning ourselves and eventually we'll be in hell. So the paragraph goes on, for the light of perfect vision is freely given as it is freely received and can be accepted only without limit. So we either do it or we don't. We're either in the present or we're not. We can't be partly here. Well, I'll see what she says. Maybe if she offers to pay me back, I'll be okay with it. No, that's still in the darkness. That's conditional. So we either do it or we don't. Uh, and it's freely received, freely given. There's no cost. We don't have to work for it. We just be in it. Okay. In this one still dimension of time that does not change, that's lovely, isn't it? In this one still dimension of time that does not change and where there is no sight of what you were, you look at Christ and call his witnesses to shine on you because you called them forth. So um, in this moment, this moment does not change. It's infinite and always. Um, where there's no sight of what we were, where we're not thinking of the past, we're not bringing all this baggage with us. You look at Christ and call his witnesses to shine on you. And that, now, Christ, I translate this as Christ consciousness. So we, we look at Christ, we feel Christ consciousness. We look through the lens of Christ consciousness, compassion, um, service, love, truth, right? So when we look through this lens, um we there's no sight of what we were that's how we do it um and that's how we stay in this moment of time is we look through the lens of christ consciousness so you know i'm pretty good at snapping right into it but if it's a bit difficult think your friend is in front of you she owed you money from 20 years ago and cast you aside um love compassion, service, truth. The truth is right now in this moment. So um, that's the lens of Christ consciousness. And that's all they're saying here. Um, and, and that's how we do it. 
um, because we have called them forth. We've called the witnesses forth. I mean, we don't have to. We don't have to worry about who the witnesses are. Um, but the point is that we have done it. We can choose to do it. Uh, we have free will, and we can sit in the darkness that's not even really there and imprison ourselves and in hell, or we can choose to look through the lens of Christ consciousness and stay in this in this moment. Um, so yeah, that's it. That's that. That's page two fifty two, paragraph seven, and. Um, I liked that one. That was a nice one. That was kind of poetic and vibrational. Um, so that's that. Um, I, it's so funny. I suddenly, I often suddenly come to the end and I'm like, oh, okay, well, that was that. <laughs> so let's all stay in the present moment and not drag the darkness with us, not drag the past resentments um, with us. And um, perhaps... Um, this will help you forgive and rekindle some friendships like like I just did. And I'm so happy that I did. Um, and uh, so, yeah, that's the miracle moment for today. Now, remember, um, the podcast is launching soon, Miracles in Manhattan, with my good friend Marco Maisto producing and as a co-host. And we're going through the actual lessons. So what I do in these is the text the underpinnings, and then uh, we actually go through the actual lessons on the podcast. It's called Miracles in Manhattan, and I'll post a link here for everybody on this um, live video. And uh, you can you can click on there and win a psychic reading with me, and you can check out the, the promo, which will give you a great idea of how it's going to feel and what it's going to be like. And um, I'm excited. It's going to be irreverent. <laughs> So I hope that you will all join me for that launching soon. All right. Love you all. Have a wonderful day.